Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I am going to show you how to attack the diamond press defense. You can also call this the one 2 one, one press defense. So hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan, if you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit the like button and subscribe. Anyways, basically today we need to try and beat that press. So in a press break, the main idea and the main objective is to try and keep the basketball down the middle of the court. If you have a volleyball court that is painted on your basketball court, stay inside that. Don't go up the sidelines or else you will be double teamed. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check this play out. So first we're going to have, in this first way of attacking the diamond, we're going to be having three players up top, obviously one player inbounding the ball, and we have a player, player five, our biggest player, on the other end of the court. So how we are going to start to attack this is basically having player two cut down towards the baseline, and player four is going to inbounds the ball to player two, which will now bring player four and two red over, and that's also going to be bringing player one down over to this side. What we want now is for player four to run inbounds. And we want player one to clear out to this corner. Again, do not pass to him because that is outside of the volleyball court. And we're going to have player three cutting down the middle. Now player four and player three are both open, but we want player three to get that ball. So if he can get that ball, that's perfect. That's now going to be bringing player one in and player two over as well. We want now player one to be cutting down the towards the middle of that court and he's going to receive that ball and now you can set up your offense or you can go two on one if player one doesn't get back in time. This is a really great way of beating it. Now let's, going over, let's go over to another way of beating that diamond press. This next way I like to attack it is having player 2 screen for player 4 and player 3 is going to use that screen. Player 3 is going to receive that ball and now we're going to have player 2 moving up and player 4 he's eventually going to fight through and now I want player 4 to run inbounds. He is our safety and I want player 2 to be cutting up the middle of the court. This is now isolating player 1 because now player 3 is covering that pass right here. What we want is a lead pass to player two or a pass over to player one. Now you may be saying, why is he getting a pass if he's outside of that volleyball court? Basically his plan, his idea is not to hold the ball. His idea is to receive the ball and pass it right away. So basically if player two gets the ball, we want, because that's going to bring player one up, we want player one blue to cut towards the middle of the court and he's going to receive that pass. Now, if player one is already covering player two, we want player one to get one blue to get that ball. So now he can just set up the offense for one. Or if player one is able to be quick enough to actually go and guard player one blue, and now this is starting to become a trap, before that becomes a trap. This is just a catch and pass right away. We need player two to continue up the court and we want player five to be continuing up the court as well. So that now this is a pass to player two, which will bring player five out and player five can get that layup. At least that's what we really hope to happen, but that rarely does happen. What we want is just player two to set up the offense. Basically how I like to attack the one, two, one, one is just to attack player one who is in the center of that one two one one so let's get some of our offensive players off the court if we can get a pass or multiple players in these spots on the court that will isolate player one and he is unable to obviously guard two players at once and because of that that will leave these wing players open who can, if they can just receive and then other players are moving to get open and pass right away, 
there will not be a trap in those corners and you will beat the 1-2-1-1. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit the like button and subscribe. I hope that these plays will help you out as a team and as a coach. And if they do, let us know in the comments below. Anyways, I do post new videos every single day, so I will see you guys again tomorrow. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Hey guys, quick, 10 second ad, or at least I'm going to try for 10 seconds. I have a basketball defense book that I know you will enjoy. Basically, anything below that free throw line, this whole area, gets a double team. So try it out. Check out the link in the description. It is called the Unbeatable Basketball Defense. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe. Or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also the opposite direction or the opposite side is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.